Embattled Etiquini Mayor Zandile Gomede has broken her silence. She spoke exclusively to ENCA after meeting with ANC provincial structures. This after she was released on bail following a brief appearance in the Durban Commercial Crimes Court over multi-million rand fraud charges. Sipa Mandla Gorge caught up with her and he joins us live now from Durban. Sipa Mandla, a lot of uh, journalists very jealous at the moment. How did you manage to get that exclusive with the mayor? Well, we had to be patient and we had to wait for the mayor to finish her meeting here with ANC officials, some of the ANC officials. Perhaps let me just give you and the viewers some context. Today is a very important day for her and her political future and career because in the morning she had to meet with ANC officials in Wazul Ratan. We understand that there were three officials in that meeting. Two officials were not there but they later joined because the meeting was between some officials of the ANC in the province with the regional leadership of Etegwin where Zandile Kumete is the regional chairperson and also the mayor of the only mayor in Guazul Natal. So ever since she was charged with fraud and corruption, we've been trying to get her to comment on camera. She has been saying she's waiting for this meeting and then she will be able to break her silence. She didn't say much though except to say today's meeting was about the leadership of the officials of the ANC in Guazul Natal trying to understand her ongoing court case because I asked her what was the agenda of the meeting. She said to me there was only one item they wanted to, uh, they wanted to understand the case that she is facing. So she left here in high spirits, but I'm sure that is about to change because the meeting of the officials now alone is underway. They are deciding her future and her fate as we speak. So some of her critics have called for her to step down for the sake of fairness and her supporters saying, well, she should stay on until she has cleared her name. Has she given any indication of what she intends to do? I asked her whether she was still the mayor when she left the meeting and she laughed at me and said of course and but she said she would comment further after the officials are done with their meeting. This is what she had to say when I asked her whether she's still the mayor, has she been asked? This was her response. I'm so fortunate that uh, I'm one of the leaders of uh, the clo this glorious movement, of which everything is done through protocols. As I've been talking to the media to say that you guys must wait. Today we had a very good meeting with officials because they wanted to understand as to what is it all about, what happened in court. Mm -hmm. I've already done so with my leaders and now just wait for me. I'll come back to you and talk to you. Are you not sacked? Are you still the mayor? No, no. There's no such. There are processes and protocols within the organization. Some people said the integrity committee wrote to you and asked you to step aside. Have you received any communication from the integrity committee? As, as media, you must learn to take from the horse's mouth as we are doing today. For now, I've met with my, I went to court, I've met with my officials, and then that's it. All right, Supermandla, did the mayor also uh, happen to comment on current protests uh, by other uh, municipal workers um, in Eteguini who are protesting over salaries? That's another challenge on top of the fraud charges that the mayor is facing currently. Well, not. She was unable to comment on that one. She said she will be having an engagement with the media. She will call a press conference once all of this is done. But perhaps allow me to tell you that we are getting this from our reliable sources who are inside the meeting here, which is underway. This is not confirmed though officially, but our sources are telling us that as the meeting is underway, officials of the ANC are meeting. They are deciding her fate. They have resolved that or there is the likelihood or possibility that she must be placed on special leave. That is not official for now. We'll wait to hear from the officials of the ANC once they are done. But obviously her future ends in the palace because there is this dark cloud hanging over her head. When she left the meeting, she was positive. But like I've alluded earlier on, that officials of the ANC in the province are meeting. We are told that one of the recommendations would be to place her on special leave pending the finalization of the court case. But yes, Eteguini has been plagued by protest from workers. You would recall that before 
before the elections there were protests by some workers who were complaining even recently there have been some protests as the mayor she she has not been commenting on that because she's fighting for her political survival but also we saw thousands of her supporters coming to these provincial offices of the ANC in Deben to defend her earlier on the ANC women's league I think earlier in the week they issued a statement saying she will not go anywhere they are supporting her the ANC youth league in Wazuru Natal and or, or rather the ANC youth league in Etebwini region is calling for her head so a lot has been happening behind the scenes politically and also when it comes to issues of governance and administration in Etebwini. And obviously if uh, the ANC leaders meeting in the building behind you make a decision this afternoon are we likely to expect a pronouncement or will that take a bit longer? We will not get the pronouncement today. Whatever happens, they still need to write to her, communicate that decision. They also still need to consult with other alliance partners. Because remember, even though the time or the term of office for Eteguin in this region, for the ANC in Eteguin region has lapsed, but she remains the chairperson of the biggest ANC region, that is Eteguin. So they are going to thread carefully in trying to deal with the matter. They need to write to the regional leadership. They need to write to her. They need to inform other alliance partners. So we are not expecting that decision to be formally communicated today, but perhaps by Monday or by tomorrow there has to be something.